Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Crown Euro Cars in Pinellas Park, Florida, because guess what? We have it. They just got it off the truck. This is a 2020 Mercedes AMG CLA 35. But before we just dive into this, let's talk a little bit what, what's going on with their compact four-door luxury car. So totally redesigned for 2020, especially when we get to that interior. Things have been brought up to a new level. When you see the AMG badging, you know that that's gonna be that extra performance. We're talking about turbocharged power underneath the hood and Mercedes 4Matic all-wheel drive system gonna keep you planted to the asphalt. But overall, this is their new game changer for their compact car. So let's go ahead, dive into the CLA, especially with it being an AMG, and see what makes it different. Right off the bat, love the color. This blue really fits it to a T. You'll see the all new headlight design, new design philosophy from Mercedes-Benz, triple beam LED headlights. You have your LED daytime running lamps. We drop down. Now I am gonna zonk this material. They made it look like a vent, but here's the good news is, it does actually flow air into a functional side air curtain. I just wish they would have just kept it smooth. The little bit of gloss black works well, especially on that lower lip spoiler that goes around the whole bottom portion of the front fascia. When we get to the actual center, this is where you see some of that design going on, the new design philosophy. I love this brushed aluminum trim around the iconic badging from Mercedes-Benz. Another iconic badge, AMG. AMG has so much racing history from uh, the German Touring Car Series, 24 Hours Le Mans, everything else around the world really brings that power punch when it comes to racing. I like the way that the top grill area almost has a concave shape to it. Simple flat black, flat black as well along the bottom, but you can see the different design elements, the way it kind of drops down and then you kind of get a little extension, a little bit further, and then that bottom trim that's that gloss black gives it a nice low wide look we get up onto the hood and i think one of my favorite parts about styling when it comes to mercedes-benz is how they do the two separate power bulges on the hood to give it that character and if you go all the way back 50s 60s 70s that is something that is unique to the mercedes-benz styling philosophy overall and i'm glad that they brought it into the new cla now when we come around the bend look what we have here on this AMG, you're gonna have, of course, your AMG branded wheel, nice multi-spoke, flat black, with a little bit of machined aluminum around that outside perimeter, 19 inch wheel, 245 on the width, and that is a 35 series sidewall. And this, these tires, these are gonna be that nice Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. So you're gonna get some stick, and you're gonna get some nice durability to drive them every day. Massive, bright silver, Brembo calipers with the AMG badging. I really love the way those look. It almost looks like Thor's hammer. It's like Thor's hammer is gonna slow down your AMG CLA. Cross-drilled and fully ventilated rotors. And then of course, all the goodness you can't see under the fenders, the design work to the suspension that AMG does is second to none. As we go down the side, very clean. No fake vents, no stuck on stuff to make it look like a vent. Simple on the badging, this one has turbocharged power and 4Matic. 4Matic has nothing to do with an automatic, it has to do with the all-wheel drive system. I like the way that lower sill kind of slopes down and extends out with the gloss black. Just a little bit of chrome trim on the door handles. AMGs are gonna get that blacked out mirror cap with the slim and trim LED turn singles. Sunroof, but guess what? We're gonna have to zonk it. What's going on here? This should be all blacked out. They blacked out the front. With, they run out of black paint or something. They should have blacked out the rear. So I would want this wrapped in vinyl if this was my particular Mercedes Benz, but that is gonna be a zonk. I think we'd both agree a blacked out roof would look so much cleaner. I like what's happening with the belt line. So it's a nice curved belt line, no sharp edge. It's interesting because you look at different German brands, they have their own philosophy with the styling. We keep coming to the rear. That rear pillar kind of slopes down and then flares out. And then when we get to the back, this is one of my favorite parts. Look at this trunk lid spoiler. Finished in gloss black as well. Nice size kick up and extension on it. We drop down, you're gonna get full LED, of course, stop, uh, brake lights, turn singles, the whole shabam. 
your CLA 35 badge, the AMG badge, and then this aggressive, very, very aggressive rear diffuser. You have your blacked out AMG exhaust on each side. Really gives it a nice, unique look. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering the CLA 35. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a massive hood strut to hold it up. Underneath that hood, very tasteful. I'm liking the very simple AMG engine cover with a little bit of red trim, that massive turbo up front. This is an inline four, two liter turbocharged engine, 302 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque. It's all made it through a seven-speed DCT and getting the power down to all four wheels with that 4Matic all-wheel drive uh, system. You, of course, you're gonna have the AMG Sport suspension that's been finely tuned, zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds. And if you look underneath, see, check out this strut tower brace. Nice, beefy strut tower brace with the AMG badging there. Really, that's where they do the homework. It's not just about getting more power out of the engine, but it's also about stiffening up the car in the right ways to make it handle like none other. But if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's fire up this AMG product and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're in the all-new Mercedes-Benz AMG CLA 35. I know you're at that point, you're like, Joe, I'm really digging what this car is bringing. How much is it? The way you see it, the way it's optioned is $58,000. Let's see what you get for the money. Door panels, drop dead sexy. You have nice dark leather, white contrast stitching, that silver brushed aluminum is very tasteful. You have your seat controls with three memory settings, heated seats, but no ventilated seats. So I am going to zonk that on a $58,000 car, but I like the silver with the contrast stitching everywhere. And then you have a very large pocket down there where you can literally take a bratwurst and put it in there and have some water to wash it down for your longer trip. This does have the optional sound system as well, which is nice. Styling is great. I love this perforated material that they have. Look at the striping going on. That's tasteful. It doesn't need to look like faux anything. It could be silver with some black. AMG badging, the stitch work, the dash is nice. You have that large, if you put these two screens together, you're looking at over 22 inches of screen space here. But this is that 10.25 inch touch screen. There's your home button. We could slide it. You have your navigation. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto here. Let me show off the navigation a little bit more. There we are in Pinellas Park. Really nice. We keep swiping, keep swiping. You have your comfort. Here's my favorite part. Performance, yes, and thank you, and please, and everything else. So you could go into your engine uh, settings here, show uh, the different gauges. You could go back to vehicle. It takes a few seconds here, but that's where you could adjust uh, different things going on with the, the vehicle. You have everything else. Look at this all. You have a, a G-Force meter. This is what you get with an AMG product. We could go into comfort. Look at this. You could get with your uh, seat kinetics and everything. Nice, clean setup. You have your start stop button. I love the aeronautical AC vents, the gloss black. Very nice, classy, luxury filled. Look at all the toggle switches. I hope you like toggle switches because you got your AC controls, of course, dual climate. Large cubby down here. Now, the only zonk is there's no lid. So you can fill this up with your German M&Ms, all dark chocolate, of course, and have those in there and just pluck away. You do have a 12 volt and a USB-C key fob. Now we do have it in the protective wrapper, wrapper but uh, that is your AMG key fob. Nice classy black with the AMG logo on it. Two cup holders, no lid, so that's a double zonk. Where's my lid? One, two. You have your trackpad here, which you could go through the settings. So there's many, what, that's what I like about Mercedes Benz is there's many different ways. You could do touchscreen, you could do the trackpad, you even have your switches. So you could go into the different drive modes, slippery, individual, comfort, and sport, right by the flick of a tab switch on the center console. I'm going to go ahead and leave it in sport because that's what I always like. 
volume control knob, very nice. You have your palm rest here. We could go into, again, once again, go into those settings. Little bit of gloss black. I love the silver. And then get ready, bombs away. Woo! You have some felt lining in here. So if you have, uh, you know, say your iPhone 27 gold plate and you don't want to scratch the cameras, it's not going to get scratched in here. A USB-C. So they do have you tons of connectivity. The only challenge is it's, it's, it's a harder armrest, but I do love the stitching. Seats look great. One piece back. It has that nice race seat style look to it. Real simple on the stitching. Seats obviously are both electric, but they're not ventilated. They're just heated. So I wish they were ventilated. And then you're going to get that sunroof and a half. It's not like a full panoramic sunroof, but it's larger than your standard sunroof. Very, very nice to let in some uh, nice open light in here. But why don't you come on over to this side because this is a little piece of race car heaven. Come over and check it out. All right, guys, come on over to the business side now. Bolstering is a little high on the top, but it could be a little bit higher. Bolster on the bottom is non-existent, and I'm going to have to definitely extend the hamstring portion because it's a little short. But once you extend the hamstring portion, it's, it's a manual control. It's real easy to do, and I was able to get it out. Steering wheel, this is the race car heaven. Look at the shape of this thing. It looks like it's right out of Lewis Hamilton's Formula One car flat bottom, the AMG logo. Look at this. You want more ways to go into your different modes? Let's go into Sport Plus. And then you can keep going back to Sport, Comfort, Individual. I'm going to leave it in Sport Plus. You have the ability to shut off your traction control real easy. Uh, get it into your other settings. So nicely done. The silver, the thumb controls. That in front of you is over 12-inch display. You obviously can go through a plethora of information in that center display, which is really classy. Look at that fuel consumption. You just keep rubbing your finger on this little switch over here. Very nice setup. Really, really great. The way they give you so many options. It really makes the driving experience that unique to you. Paddles. So you got that seven speed DCT, large paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that seven speed transmission. I like the feel of them and the placement is great and they're a good size. So like I was saying, steering wheel is awesome. They revamped the interior. It does not feel cramped in here. I got plenty of headroom. Let's check out the back seat, see how much room we have. All right, guys, back seat time. It's a little tight back here, headroom wise. So I'm six feet tall. My hair is kind of spiked up a little bit. It's just brushing the headliner a little bit. I think if you were under six feet tall, obviously you'd have no problem sitting back here. I do have tons of leg room. And it is, you know, overall comfy back here. The backs of the seat are plastic, which if you have kids, uh, I guess that will be better for cleanup and, and for when they kick the seats and whatnot. But I am going to zonk that. And they give you these cargo nets, which I don't know. It just it feels cheap in here. Two rear AC vents, that same aeronautical design. This is my favorite part. Flip that down. Two USB-Cs and a place to put some breath mints. Close it back up. Armrest time. It's still firm like a German, like an old German Danish, but the great news is you got your cup holders built in very nicely. Overall, it's compact. I mean, that, that sexy low sloping roof, I'm feeling it right now back here, and I really wouldn't want to spend a lot of time, but if you are shorter, you're going to have a better time. Let's go ahead and check out the trunk and see how much room we have. All right, guys, time to open up the trunk. Now, if you're wondering, well, where do you hit the button? This is smart. Tom, stand back because this thing whips up really fast. Three, two, one, boom. So lifts up very nicely, no electric assist. You got a nice size opening, and then guess what? Those seats are gonna be able to fold down, and you have little two little cubby areas. So if you have that box of Twinkies that you're trying to hide from the kids, or maybe from your other passengers, whoever they may be, you could hide them in the trunk underneath here. You're not getting a spare. So you got your, uh, your subwoofer, and that's about it. No spare in this CLA 35. But you know what? Let's get to the best part. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this AMG for a spin. All right, guys, we left Crown Euro Cars. We're in the AMG CLA 35. This thing is a ton of fun. I'm telling you right now, the steering wheel is spot on the money. The weight is perfect. 
that turbocharged engine, it may not seem like a lot of horsepower, but the way that it's geared and the seven speed DCT really is harmonious. It's like the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich that you weren't expecting. That's what I love about this vehicle. Inside, very, very performance oriented, very sporty, sporty, but also the luxury side of things as well. I love the infotainment and, and gauge setup on the car. And you would think that the way that they position it, there would be a lot of glare. Listen, we have the shade open on the sunroof and there's really no glare whatsoever on this thing. I have it in Sport Plus mode. Uh, we had to get a little creative with the camera angle just because of all the stuff that they stuck on the windshield. But it's nice to see that unique design to Mercedes and their hoods with the two power bulges that you have there. Really, really clean, gives you great visibility. The front windshield is a little small and it's very, it's very angled, but overall though, uh, they did a great job by creating more space in the new CLA compared to the last generation. Brake pedal feels good. Where everything is laid out feels awesome in here. I just wish there weren't all these window stickers all over the place. But let's go ahead, get on throttle. Just gonna leave it in automatic mode. Great sound, very, very competent. And the feedback you get to the wheel is fantastic, really fantastic. Visibility out the back window's great. Side mirrors is nice. Just a little tight on the windshield, but I think a lot of that has to do with how many stickers they put on it. I'm sure when you buy your brand new one and leave the dealership, they won't have as many stickers on the windshield. But I'm very, very curious to see how this AMG CLA 35 is going to handle for sure. Uh, but the power delivery, even though it's a single turbo, you're not really waiting for a ton of boost, to be honest with you. It's it's smooth power delivery, very, very smooth power delivery. Inside the cabin, it's quiet. I like where they have the dash placed. Uh, gives you extra room in here. And I'm gonna say it once again, this steering wheel is a little piece of heaven. It really, really is. But let's go ahead and see how she handles into this right-hand bend up there. On throttle, drops down. On the brakes, feeling good. Tip it in, look at this. Back on throttle, yeah! Really, really nice. The car kind of pivoted just a little bit to square off the turn. I felt totally planted all the way through. There was no excessive body roll. This thing, being an AMG product, they really fine-tune that suspension on this vehicle to really set it up nicely. All right, guys, back on throttle, into this long right-hand sweeper. Look at that, very, very nice. Very composed, makes you feel confident. I feel like I could throw this car around like nothing but the business. That's how good it feels. But on throttle, from a dead stop, the shifts are very, very purposeful, and I like that. It gives you a little bit of a kick, that sensation, and like I said, we do have it in Sport Plus mode. You put it in Comfort mode, that softens everything up. The suspension, the shifting, the throttle response, the steering, the whole shabam gets softened up. All right, guys, back on throttle. Here we go. On the brakes. Really nice bite onto those calipers on the rotors. Coming out of the turn, super smooth. It's so fascinating how smooth the power delivery is in this vehicle. And the chassis is so balanced. I'm really pleasantly surprised with this car. And you could tell that they did their homework. They really did, both Mercedes and AMG. All right guys, back on throttle. the brakes feeling good look at this this is nice back on throttle again super smooth look at this on the brakes 
I tell you, the initial bite onto those rotors is nice and powerful. Coming out of the turn, the all-wheel drive clamping us down, and we are off and running. Wow, look at this thing. It is a little gem of a car. It really is. Wow, and then the brakes, they just, just like I was pointing out about Thor's hammer, hammer it's, those calipers are so large and they bite down on the rotors so nicely where you feel secure and planted and the feedback, like you're able to modulate the braking and it gives you great response. It talks to you nicely. And that's what you want in a performance setup, whether it's a compact performance luxury sedan like this or a Ford GT. But let's do it one more time just for you guys. Back on throttle. Here we go. On the brakes. Look at this. This thing is a beast. Nice. Come out of the turn. Here we go. A little bit of a clear run. Super smooth. A little dab of the brakes. Dab, dab. Nice. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Pour the awesome sauce all over this car. Really, really is a wonderful setup in this vehicle. Now, is it perfect? No. I would like some ventilated seats right about now, especially at this price point. And that back seat is on the cramp side for taller people. But hey, if you're behind this amazing steering wheel, you're, you don't care. Let them suffer. Let them suffer. But we're gonna go ahead, get back to Crown Euro Cars and wrap this one up so I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, it's been another wonderful day here at Crown Euro Cars. Definitely gonna thank Nicole, Greg, and the rest of the crew. Mercedes, I think, did a great job with the revisions, with the change up. And once you add those three letters, AMG, to this amazing car, it just brings the level up that much better but if it's performance compact luxury sedans that you want to see on the channel leave a comment in the comment section if you're new and you're on your way out hit the subscribe button i promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more if you are a subscriber thank you for being part of the radius rise family if you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel click the link in the description get yourself some radius rise merch got to give it up to big guns mcgee working the camera it's a cloudy day but you know what he is my sunshine so thank you tom for all your hard work and just like always i'll see you on the next ride